Hi, let's solve one previous question of TOC. This question was asked in GATE CS22, question number 13. It is a MSQ. Which of the following statement is or are true? And in four options, four statements are given. First statement, every subset of a recursive enumerable language is recursive. Every subset of recursive enumerable language may or may not be recursive. So, as it is written, it should be recursive due to this it is wrong. It may or may not be recursive. So, this statement is false. The second statement, if a language L and its complement L complement are both recursive enumerable, then L must be recursive. Recursive language are closed under complementation while recursive enumerable language are not closed under complementation. So L and L complement both can be recursive but L and L complement both cannot be recursive enumerable. As L and L complement both are recursive enumerable so L must be recursive that's why its complement is recursive and recursive is a subset of recursive enumerable. That's why L complement is recursive enumerable. So second statement option B is true. Next option C, complement of contextual language must be recursive. Contextual language is not closed under complement. So contextual language complement can be context sensitive language. And context sensitive language is subset of recursive. So this is true. Next option D, if L1 and L2 are regular, then L1 intersects and L2 must be deterministic context free. Regular language are closed under intersection. So if L1 is regular, L2 is regular, then their intersection should be regular. And regular language are subset of deterministic context free. So L1 intersection L2 must be deterministic context free. This is true. We found option B, option C and option D are true while option A is false and this is a MSQ. So answer will be option B, option C and option D. I already discussed closure property of all language just go through that you can easily solve this question and if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.